Okay, welcome back. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is a, uh, we're going to be doing another butt weld. In this case, instead of doing a pull method, we're going to do what's called a push method. And uh, the reason why I uh, instruct my students in doing different methods, pull or push, uh, they're going to be uh, lots of different situations where you're going to encounter um, uh, a different method. And, you know, so, uh, so, some cases, you know, uh, depending upon the direction that you, you would want to go, maybe you're welding into a corner and it's going to require a pull method or maybe you're having to perform a weld where it's gonna require you to do a push method. You're gonna be put into a situation where you gotta be ready to do either one of the two different types of welds, push or a pull. And today what we're gonna be doing is just a standard uh, flat position butt weld. Um, but uh, all in all, doing a, uh, uh, doing a push method. So uh, first thing I gotta point out is that uh, between my two, uh, pieces of metal here I got I have a uh, eighth of an inch gap uh, like in my uh, pull method video the eighth of an inch gap is there so that way I can be able to have that that molten weld uh, really sink into uh, uh, the pieces of metal as it's doing its butt weld we, we never want to have our uh, our pieces of metal side by side uh, if it's going to require a side by side uh, piece of metal where I gotta I have no choice but to um, uh, have them right up against each other I can't have a gap of course uh, what I'd be having to do is you know maybe I gotta create uh, create a groove um, so uh, in this case here just to make life simple for uh, students that are learning how to do uh, make welding for the first time uh, have an eighth of an inch gap okay uh, so eighth of an inch gaps already been applied uh, I'm gonna have uh, again, watch the height between my recess and the uh, piece of metal, a half an inch gap. My uh, uh, angle is not going to be a sharp 45 degree angle. I'm going to have it up closer to 90, maybe just a little bit off from 90. But I'm just going to inch along, continuing to do uh, my pattern, maybe something similar to what I did in my pole method. And then, of course, with these pieces of uh, molten weld that are left over, trim it off. Okay, start off with a clean piece of metal, okay? When all is said and done, um, where you're going to find pretty flat looking weld, but also you're noticing the penetration that's on the other side of that weld. But what you're looking to do is you're looking to create a nice, consistent spacing, keep inching you know, further and further and further. And uh, something that you could definitely notice with my uh, weld here, maybe I went a little bit too far uh, with every single, uh, with each time that I was moving forward. Yeah, you don't want to go too far um, and, and create uh, an inclusion that, uh, or, or some sort of pore uh, within that metal. You want, you want to make sure that you're keeping your uh, weld nice and close together. But the big deal is, is that you're creating a nice, even, consistent arc uh, through that weld and and uh, um, allowing uh, that weld to really sink into the two pieces of metal and gain penetration to uh, into your metal. So that would conclude our uh, exercise on a uh, push method and uh, with MIG welding. 